St Mirren had played well but finished pointless at McDermott Park last week and yesterday they were determined to ensure they earned something for their efforts. Sadly for the Buddies though, after just 12 minutes they were a goal down. Ludovic Roy doing well to save the first Mark Kerr shot but powerless to do anything about the second one. Falkirk a goal ahead and full of confidence. Well, Saints then give away a free kick in a dangerous position when Richard Robb upended Jamie McQuilkin. When Craig McPherson's cross came in, it eventually found its way to the bleached-haired Lee Miller, who made it 2-0. Joy for Miller, but again, little Roy could do to prevent the goal. Well, St Mirren won a free kick of their own on the edge of the box when Martin Cameron was brought down. Ian McCall organised his defence, but Simon Lappin's free kick was inches wide. Well, Saints were battling for every ball, and when Junior Mendes managed to set up Ricky Gillis, the midfielder's shot was just too high. Amazingly, those Saints were to go three down before half-time. A lovely cutback from the right for Lee Miller and the Falkirk start with the perfect finish. Surely there could be no way back now for this young Saints side. Well, eight minutes into the second half, John Coughlin's men scored the goal. They craved the Falkirk defence in a tangle and the head of Richard Robb rising to put Saints back in the game. Alan Ferguson, one of the smallest keepers in the business, and his defence let him down here. Well, the crowd was right behind the Saints now, and local hero Ricky Gillis was through on goal. He still had work to do, but he just managed to chip that one wide. Saints' persistence paid off, though, when Martin Cameron refused to admit defeat in this challenge, controlled the ball well, and put his side to within a goal of the league leaders. Now we had a real game on. And when Saints charged forward again, Cameron found himself in the right place at the right time, and St Mirren had clawed back a three-goal deficit with more than half of the second 45 still to play. The crowd was really loving this. Well, Gillis then sent Cameron through again, and this time only a touch from Ferguson deflected the ball onto the post. Junior Mendes couldn't convert the rebound. Well, St Mirren were now running riot, but when Mendes managed to get in the clear, back to fitness, John Hughes was there to clear the danger for Falkirk. And Hughes it was who began the move, which put Falkirk back into the lead in this game. Steve Tosh cut inside from the right and fed Lee Miller for his hat-trick. A lovely move by Falkirk and a great finish from the highly rated youngster. 4-3 Falkirk and Saints must have felt they were going to be denied for the second week running. Well, if you thought this game was over, forget it. Mendes brought down in the box by Mark Kerr and John Robotham immediately pointing to the spot. The penalty entrusted to the hat-trick seeking Martin Cameron and Saints securing the point, their play so richly deserved. Probably a game of the season for the fans anyway. Yeah, we get entertainment when you come here, you see goals, that's one thing. Hopefully you see more for us than you do for the opposition, but uh, you're certainly being entertained at the moment. Ian, that was a game you probably had one at half time. Yeah, well we thought so, and uh, I thought we had it won the second time as well. But we didn't. We played. We played the best we've done all season. The first half, we had some outstanding football. Second half, we made a few silly errors. Uh, so I give someone great credit for their spirit, but I, I can't. I don't think they scored any particularly good goals. I think they were just gifts. So uh, it's.